the thing with negative people is it's like this constant vicious circle that goes round and round and in the end all it is is just negativity and this video is about how we essentially deal with these kind of people if you watch this video then you'll understand all right let's start the video You know, there is a saying that you can judge someone's character by the five people they choose to surround their time with. Think of that. This video isn't a spiritual video. I'm not going to sit here and talk about chakras or special stones or healing your body with your mind. In fact, it's quite a logical video with rational thinking and logical methodology. <laughs> I'm not going to try acting smart. We are social creatures. It's inevitable that we are involved in people and it works the other way. People are involved in our lives as well. That's human nature. It's just logic, connection and integration. Now, when we talk about integration, that also relates to conformism. So if our core values either changing, adapting or reasoning with the society or in this case the people we surround ourselves with. And when you start to spend your time with a certain type of people, it starts to affect you and your state of mind either in a positive way or a negative way. Natural human survival instinct to do with the mind. The first time you meet someone within the five minutes, you, you can instantly tell when someone is positive or not. We recognize a mum from a random lady in the street, a close friend from a stranger, someone who's quite close to us. So our brain is trained and pre-wired to act in this kind of responsive way towards others. So we do pick up signals. But there are also occasions when you can't always tell. You meet people that are almost mm, borderline. Two things in particular that will say if a person is negative. This is where we compare our, our life and core values to the other person. How do you know if someone is negative? Well, if they impact you in a negative way, because it is that obvious. I'm not teaching any new truths here. I'm just reiterating what everyone already knows. Now, life can get a little bit tricky when these culprits tend to be our family members, close friends, and just people who we are very close to. It's tricky, it's scary because feelings are involved. And often you don't want to disappoint abandon make them feel bad so you end up staying with them continuing with their attitude or behavior if we let them go that means we don't love them and that is not the case moving on to the big question how do we deal with negative influences how can we get rid of them <laughs> well first of all you need to get a baseball bat boxing gloves any sort of weapon. <laughs> nah, 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 I'm joking. The answer is nothing to do with them and it's more related to do with yourself. First of all, you have to acknowledge them. With any problem, if you acknowledge a situation, you can then take the next step to fix it. Now, this is the bit which is more focused on you. Rather than change them, you have to change yourself and your mindset. Because at the end of the day, you can't physically change someone if they don't want to. If you are close to someone or if you acknowledge someone is a negative influence, it's about time you drift away from them. And it gets really hard when you're attached to them or you're close to them. But in the long run, it saves your state of mind. Now, out of all the video, this is probably going to be the most logical thing I'm going to say, negativity is something so contagious and it's always been like that. Why do you think that that sells on the news? 95% of the times, something negative is going on. Uh, this fish bash boy, fish bash boy. Negativity is contagious. Something you really have to realise is time is so valuable and who you choose to spend your time with is very important. Get that through to your head. 
So you have to be very selective on who you decide to keep. Don't be afraid to cut people off. That's the natural order of life. And if you meet someone negative who doesn't bring anything on the table, anything positive, physically, mentally, aspirational goals, skills, then what is the point of having them in your life? What is the point? That's the end of the video. I haven't said anything that already someone has probably said, but it's good to reiterate it because sometimes we need to take a step back and we need someone just to remind us. Thank you guys for watching. It's your boy Ali K2. Cry now. Turn that frown upside down. <laughs> Boom.